Hi guys, it's me again, Elm the Peace Hat, and today I'm going to be showing you some updates from Star Stable and basically just stuff that's going on, let's say. So, I'm going to explain it to you while my horse is running freely over to our destination today. So, I will just turn my music down because I think it's quite loud. If you just heard me, yes, I'm going to be showing some of the Star Stable updates for this week and some just really fun stuff and yeah. So let's get started. So first of all, we are, oh, uh, oh no, but you've got music gone wrong. Oh, here we go, we've stopped now. So first of all, we have got up to our new update, the Midsummer Festival. So it's a tradition where all these different people come from like Star Stable and Star Stable characters. My favourite thing is this. Everybody stare into the camera. <laughs> That's my favourite one because they just look up at you and they can just do a little bobbing dance look like they're stuck to a tree or something. Boing. So now we're back into music. We have got a brand new music festival. So this event is limited timing so you might not get to do all of this what I'm doing. So let's get to go with it. So I'm doing my drums. Oh, I'm doing a trick. Let's go even better. Oh no, we're just going on to that one. So we've got like a nice few things. Oops. You can run into all these different characters, have a chat with them. You've got Linda, you've got all the Soul Riders, you've basically got everyone. So it's a bit like a big meetup, everybody just coming around to see everything. You've got picnics, chairs, fire, you can sit down at the fire. You have to do quests and this gives you character, obviously character to XP so that's really great for if you are nearly on the next level and you need to get something or you need to get on the next level next up is if you know Gary Goldtooth he is a horse he finds wild horses and brings them back to Star Stable and guess what he's came up with this week he's came with horse trees so let's read what you have to say. Hey ho, have you ever seen such a fine flock of fillies? The fanciest, most beautiful, jovi, egan wild horses that have ever set hoof on this side of the mountain, wouldn't you say? If you'd like to purchase one, I'm quite sure it could be arranged. But there's one or two little bits of tri tricky trivia, I think it is, you need to know before you buy. These trotting treasures are the kindest, loveliest and most colourful horses. Fast they most certainly aren't, but that but what does that matter when they look like beautiful jewels? Another little nugget of uniqueness is that they they actually start to lose their beautiful colours when they're away from the wild and close to your been see areas of civil and of civilization. No one knows why. Ride into a town on one of these lovelies, and it'll suddenly look like any other horse. Poof! As soon as you ride back in, out into the wild again, they absorb all the wonder and magic of nature, and their colourful beauty can come back to life. Not bad, huh? So that is what our lovely horses are. So first of all, we've got this one. It looks really nice. It's like a horse tree. These are 950 star coins because they can do a special move. They change colours. And they're Lusitanos. So 
I don't really blame them, but I think it is a little bit overpriced star stable. So, I think we could do some things. Hmm. I know that there's a lot. Oh, I just ran through a bobcat. Oops. Okay, we don't, we're just gonna ignore that at least. So the fishing pond and crafting flowers are not up yet. They're coming next week, so yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. We've got beautiful stuff for your character, as you can see, and your horse, which is great. You've got a lovely white cream bridle. There's all sorts you can see. There's loads it also has done stuff where it says you own this item because it always stays up if you want to buy something so you buy it a million times basically and i think we could do something maybe let's have a look around and talk to one of the characters We'll talk to Maya. Midsummer is my favorite time of year. Flowers, feasting, friends, fire. What's Mr. Kemble doing here? The last time he came to Marlin, he tried to bulldoze the stables to make my room for luxury condos. So that's what she has to say. So I think we can have some more fun by doing this awesome glitch. I'll see you in my home stable. Here we are guys. So this is the next glitch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run over to the board and change appearance. You're gonna click OK for your 2.99. Even if you don't have it, it will still work. So that's a great thing to do. So we're going onto it and it's reset. So then I'm going to cancel. Click OK, we've gone. Time and space unfold. You've travelled back through time to where you were earlier. So we've gone back to where we were and then we do not take our horse. We go over to our washing area and wash ourselves. It looks weird, but we just go fast, 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 fast. Wash, 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 Am I right? Should be seeing things. Where is it? I don't know. I feel like something's gone wrong, but I'll wait a minute, see if we can find anyone in a minute. Oh my gosh, there is no people in a home stable right now. Am I being serious or is it just me? I cannot see anybody. No. No. Really? I'm quite confused. Well, once you've done that glitch, you wait a little bit longer, and then you might just find somebody in your home stable. I have only waited like 30 seconds after I pause it, so not really. But I hope you enjoy. I hope, oh my god. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so I'll see you next time. Bye!